I really couldn't believe it. What we did that day, that will never happen, never happen, never happen, never happen again in today's world. As they come to the strike, it's going to be Dale Jarrett showing his muscle. I was car chief for the 88 team, and I was also the front tire changer for the 88. That slugger on the right front changing the tire. It was getting evidence. You know, these races, I mean, this business is awful tough. It's a performance business. And it was probably Monday afternoon, Robert he called me and Todd Parrott up to the office and said, hey, we're going to make Slugger the crew chief of the 28. And I was all excited to have the opportunity. We're looking at Richard Slugger Labby, who was the new crew chief for Kenny Irwin. He's a great person to have on our team. Personally, if, if pulled him over and I said, hey, I need you to work with us and see if we can make this thing work. All I knew was I had a huge task at hand to take over the crew chief role and I wanted to make my first race as special as I could. So we worked really, really hard to prepare for Atlanta. We realized Thursday on the airplane ride down there that we have a huge problem. Todd and I looked at each other and we both figured out at the same time that I was going to be crew chief for the 28. Who was going to change tires on the 88 car? We were both confused of what to do. Both of our faces got white. You go tell Robert. You go tell Robert. I didn't want to be the one to tell Robert, but Todd made me. Robert just gave us one of those looks like, oh shoot, we never thought of that. He started rubbing his hair like he always does. And his hair was sticking straight up and he's like, well Slugger, you just have to do both. I said, I'm okay like changing tires on the 28 if I'm gonna be crew chief, but we can't do that. He's like, no, no, you have to do this. The green flag is finally about to fall from Atlanta Motor Speedway. The weird part was, was the 28 car was in pit stall one and the 88 car was in pit stall 19. So we had a huge gap that we had to cover during the race and I simply couldn't be in two places at once. So the whole race, I was in communication with Robert on channel two on the radio and Robert was a nervous wreck. And I just kept telling Robert, hey, we're gonna do this for changes. And him and I would always have colorful discussions on channel two about what to do. It was really, really neat, but uh, definitely a lot of pressure. I was a crew chief, but I was changing tires on another car, and we were both running 1-2 most of that race. Slugger, you're up here changing tires for DJ, but watching your young man, Kenny Irwin, pretty impressive. Yes, he is. I mean, last thing he told me this morning when he got in the car, he said, hey, we come to win this race. And I, Man, if we can finish 1-2, that'd be a great day for Robert Yates. We had nothing to lose. We really threw everything we had at it. We were really aggressive with everything we did. I just kind of went with my gut on some of the decisions we made and things worked out well. But on the 88 side of it, all the guys on the pit crew kept saying, hey man, don't blow this race for us. You want that 28 to win. And, and we did want the 28 to win. And Robert, he was just the opposite. He just wanted the 28 to finish because the first three races of the season didn't go well. And I was simply wanting to win my first race on the 28 car. Well, certainly Irwin has been in contention for the win here. And we dominated that race with the 28. We led 192 laps. We ended up finishing fifth with Kenny Irwin after leading all those laps. Seems the two of us have a pretty good setup. Something that I'd never ever done in my life before was have two roles during the race. I did that job for three more weeks as far as being a crew chief for 28 and changing tires on the 88. And after that, I just couldn't do it no more. It got to be too much. But uh, th those days were something that I'll never ever forget. What we did that day in 1998, I don't think will ever be reproduced again.